This is a video tutorial for how to work with Extreme Collaboration, the new add-on pack for Notebook 11. So I'm in a blank notebook file right here, and if I go to my fifth tab down, the blue puzzle piece, that's my add-ons tab. When I come to my add-ons tab, you can see that I've got the Extreme Collaboration add-on right next to the Activity Builder. If you don't have the Extreme Collaboration add-on installed yet, there's another video tutorial on my YouTube channel that's going to walk you through it. So if I click on Extreme Collaboration here, I can either go through a little tour or I can hit the connect button and I can start to connect to the Extreme Collaboration server right away. So I'm going to click the connect button. Now, if you haven't yet actually used Extreme Collaboration, what you do need to do is you do need to put in an email address and Extreme Collaboration will send you an email. Check your junk file if you send them an activation email through this system because sometimes they do end up in your junk. And then once you end up having an activation link from your email address, then you're going to be able to start using it. So basically what they're doing is they're just double checking that they've got the right people using Extreme Collaboration and they want to ensure that everybody's um, signed up and using it okay and need don't need any extra support. So it's just kind of like when you sign up for the Smart Exchange, you get an email from the Smart Exchange just proving you're a real person. So that's what we're going to do first is I'm going to email Extreme Collaboration and get some activation. So here's my email from Extreme Collaboration wanting me to confirm that I'm in fact a real person. So I'm going to click on that and it will send me a little activation saying that this is good to go and I can either create an account or not, it's totally optional. So now my activ activation has succeeded and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to Notebook 11 and click check activation and now I'm good to go. So it says that add-on was successfully activated. Now I can log in if I choose to so that I can then go on and create an account and I can store all the names of the students in my class and have an ongoing list that's quick and easy to be able to access or I don't need to log in at all and I can just start a session. So here what I can do in the session section is I can actually add to have my kids come on anonymously so that when I'm participating with students I don't see their names associated with anything or I have my students enter their names so that when they begin to send responses it will show me who's answering which questions and what their feedback is. I'm going to have students join anonymously and I'm going to click start. When this happens an ID number is automatically generated. This is so that each teacher is only connecting their students to their activities. So this is terrific, that this is all very individualized per teacher, per session. So what I'm going to do is I can either click insert QR code, and when I do that, my students can scan this code, and they have the ID number right up at the top for the number of the session that I'm going to do. Or what I can do is I can just highlight the session number and I can copy and paste that into my notebook file and if my students already know that the website they're going to go to is add to nb.com then I don't need to worry too much about that big QR code but if the kids like QR codes then you can definitely have them scan this and go to the website so that they can start their activity one thing I like to check before my students start and before I click start the activity is I want to decide do I want to have all of the kids answer in a random position, have their answers come in as a list, have them stack up or a list by category or a stack by category and that's something that you can choose if you choose to log in and have a few extra settings as part of the extreme collaboration. I also like to click extended settings this is where I can choose if I want my students to be able to send images, which is great. And if they are sending images for them to come in in the full screen option, I can also insert a new page whenever a student brings in a new answer. Here's where I can add the sender's name. So if my students aren't signing in anonymously, I can have the student's name pop up with each piece of feedback. So it depends on what type of feedback you're looking for and what level of accountability you want the students to have.
Allowing for text colors means that the students can choose red, black, blue, or green, just like your Smartboard has in its pen tray, and so the students can choose and have different colors, and you can also have it be that they give you feedback in different colors for different purposes. Inherent, inheriting the font attributes means that if you have a favorite font based in your notebook file, that it will bring in that favorite font. And here's what I really like is the ability to have the number of messages per user. So your students can potentially bring in as many different messages as they have throughout the lesson and have an unlimited source of feedback to you. Now I'm going to click the Start Activity button, and this would be where my students would be able to send messages to me as soon as I click Start Activity. One thing that I like to check after I hit Start Activity is to come back up to the top here in the side tab, underneath where it says the ID number, and I want to make sure that the students can join is still checked off if my, not all of my students have signed in yet. So this is if a student comes in late or they didn't get a chance to sign in at the very beginning of the lesson, that means that they can continue to join and provide feedback throughout the lesson if they choose. So now as soon as my students are ready to go to add to nb.com, then they can and add in this number, they can start to put feedback into Extreme Collaboration for me. So we're going to take a look at what that looks like in a few seconds. So once I've started a session, the students need to go to the website add2nb.com and put in the code that's right here. So this is our session ID number. And this allows for each student on any device that can connect to the internet to be able to provide feedback and put it up on the teacher's notebook page. So I'm going to go to add2n as in note, b as in book.com. And the students would put in the code that was generated for each time I run the activity. And then this would be what it would look like. So the students would be able to send messages in any of the colors, and I just happen to have chosen these colors this time. And they can send a message and or upload a message. And because during my initial setup, I'd said that the kids could add in as many pieces of feedback as they want, it's not limited. So here is different pieces of feedback that were provided onto this notebook page. And if I were to switch pages, the students could still then continue to add messages to me. And as I progress through my lesson, then the feedback would still provide or pop up on my notebook page as I was going through my lesson. So the students can continue to add questions or concerns, or you can ask questions on the fly and be able to get the instant feedback and have it appear right on your notebook page. So that's the quick and easy way to use extreme collaboration in your classroom with mobile devices. And of course, when you're all finished and you're finished having your feedback with your students and either your lesson is completed or your day is finished, you can stop the activity and if you wanted to continue using the same code throughout the day, you could start this activity back up again, or at the very, very end of the day, you could stop this whole session, and that ID number would then go away, and next time you were to log into Extreme Collaboration, you would get a different ID number, and that helps, again, to keep our security uh, piece of the puzzle nice and safe. So there's your full package meal deal for how to use Extreme Collaboration.